What's up guys? So if you're anything like me, you're probably trying to figure out what firearm and what holster setup you should use to be able to conceal carry in very discreet locations, i.e. funerals, weddings, uh, work, things of the sort, right? So, show you, guns clear. This right here is a Bodyguard 380 and this has a Crimson Trace laser on it, safe direction. You can definitely get this gun a little bit cheaper if you don't need the laser. I like the look of it with the laser better, but that's right here or there. But um, yeah, so actually this was one of the guns I bought on my 21st birthday almost uh, a year ago now. So I did a lot of time trying to figure out what I could and couldn't do. And you know, I kind of went through hardships trying to find holsters and things. So I bought about three or four different holsters trying to figure out what I can and can't use. So hopefully this can help you guys figure out what setup is best for you. So me personally, I carry a much bigger gun than that on a daily basis. Um, the problem is you can't take that everywhere. And I thought, even though this is a Glock 30, right? And you can put a 10 round mag in here. So it sits flush, because this is the extended uh, Glock 21 mag with the plus four. They do have tuckable holsters that you can buy, right? The issue with this is it's still a very thick gun. It's a 45 caliber Glock pistol, double stack, so it's thick. So at this point now, I'm like, okay, this clearly doesn't work. I can't use it for work. I can't use it for things like that. So I had to figure out what I could use, which was this 380. While I was waiting for this holster to come in, get to this in a second, I bought this one off of Amazon. It's a little cheap holster. And it actually keeps the gun... I mean, it's, it's not a terrible holster for the price. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but um, if you can have your shirt untucked, this is perfect, but that's not what this video is about. It's about having a tucked shirt. So that led me to these two holster options. This one first, we'll get started. I tried this one first, it's an Alien Gear holster, and it is meant to go in this area right about here. And the issue with that is, when you bend over with this, because I work in a job that I have to have in a tucked in shirt, and uh, you know, so with the shirt tucked in, you bending over, this prints very badly in the back, and I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. The problem with this is, aside from that, it's also like a very big holster for a very tiny gun. So it's not very comfortable to me. And you have it rubbing on your back and everything. So I tried actually carrying this appendix, and I'll show that in a second too but it's very uncomfortable. And the only way for you to not get it to stick up too bad is if you have it on the lowest options. But the problem is when it's on the lowest riding height, it's digging very badly into your crotch area. So that led me to this, which is a Muddy River uh, Tactical. And I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, but you can tuck in your holster, your shirt behind your holster clip. And that is what I go with now. I even have a spare mag carrier. I think this is a uh, Daryl holster. And it's also tuckable, so let's get into it. I'll show you guys how these work. All right, so I found an old shirt, some of the similar stuff I would wear to work. Um, I didn't want to put on my actual work clothes for the video because I don't want to be in the camera. But so I can show you this simple pole craft holster cut off Amazon, right? Hides really well. You don't really see it. Side view, um, but it's not the best. But you know, it works. So. Next would be this Alien Gear Cloak Tuck, I think it's a 3.5 or something like that. So I'll show you how I started carrying it after I was trying to conceal it better. Um, and I'll show you how it's intended to be carried after I do that. So initially, I would have it in the front like this, which is nowhere near how it's meant to be because how big it is and how low it rides. Um, it it functions okay. Like if you want to cut the bottom of the holster, you could technically do that. But I spent a decent amount of money on this holster. I was like, eh, I don't really want to cut it, cause you know. You tuck it in, pull a little bit of the slack out of your shirt, right? You don't see it, but there is an odd little bulge in this area. But you know, if nobody knows what they're looking for, they're not really gonna notice that, right? You just see it a little bunched up, and that's it. The way this holster is meant to be carried is back here right now the issue with this is not when you're standing up it's when you go to bend over you get this poke right i remember one time in particular i wasn't thinking about 
bending over and how it may show or not show. So luckily, when I when this happened, you know, it wasn't anything big, but um, I was I happened to be just bending over to grab something, and someone brought it to my attention that it was showing. And this wasn't at work or anything, but still, I was like, oh, well, that's an issue. So now I know. So that's why I ended up moving it to the front because I could bend over even though it was uncomfortable. The gun wouldn't show if, you know, I had to twist kind of awkwardly and, you know, bend over all the way. Or I just learned to start kind of squatting down. But even when you squat down, it still shows here. So that kind of moved me away from this holster. Finally, I ended up with this Muddy River Tactical. And this is what I usually use when I have to carry this firearm. And on top of that, I use this as well. So it says something like this. And we would just go to tuck in around it. Adjust your belt a little bit. Helps to have a tactical belt. This is not a gun belt, it's just a normal belt. But um, for the most part, you don't even see it realistically. And if you take a little bit of slack out here, you don't really see it at all. Unless um, people know what they're looking for with these clips, they're not going to really know this gun sits really, really... And this shirt, is the, the material is a little different, so my work shirt is a tad bit looser. But you guys can see, you may see like a little bit of poking chair there. You can always drop it down a little bit, whatever, adjust your shirt. But I've been carrying like this now for months, and I have no issues. This is a lot better than the other options I had. You don't see anything. Just looks like... A little bit of bunched up shirt, nothing crazy. Um, only issue would be this right here, but I guess you could probably sand that off or just paint over it or something just to make the Muddy River tactical uh, logo blend in. But yeah, I mean, and if anything, you can still pull and draw. And it's a really feasible option. So obviously, if you, whenever you can, I always say carry the biggest gun that you possibly can. Um, not big as a caliber wise, but you know, like if you can carry a full size, carry a full size, whatever you're comfortable carrying. Obviously, these holster options would differ depending on your body type and who you are as a person. But um, if you have to carry something small and you're forced to, you know, carry this, this may be your everyday option. That's fine. That works for you. I personally don't like carrying 380 every day. Um, I don't like having a relatively underpowered round. This is like the bare minimum for, you know, self-defense usage. So I personally carry a 45 or uh, sometimes even a 10 millimeter. But I like capacity, this gun only holds six plus one. So, you know, but if you need something small, this is definitely a great option. Any gun is better than no gun at all. Um, I work in a very bad neighborhood and go to other places that are very bad, but I have to, you know, carry at a funeral or something like that. This is the best option. Bodyguard 380. Hopefully this uh, helps you guys decide what kind of um, set up you would use if you need to use this gun the way I use it.